Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to create a cool logo reveal effect in After Effects like this one. And uh, for this tutorial I'm going to use After Effects CC 2017 but you can follow along if you're using previous versions as well. So I'm going to start with creating a new composition so a new comp and I'm going to make this one 1920 by 1080 normal HD 25 frames a second and then I'm going to set my duration to 3 seconds then click on OK and then I've got a logo PNG here that I downloaded off Google I'm going to drag that into the comp and I'm going to scale it down so pressing S on the keyboard scaling it down to something around that and um, then we need to decide how we want to reveal this logo so I'm going to start by um, revealing it from these little circles and then going outwards so three um, lines basically going out so we're going to draw some masks or some paths and it will basically reveal it along those paths so with the logo selected I'm going to start drawing my paths and um, all you need to do is click on the pen tool and I'm going to zoom in here slightly so we can see what we are doing and uh, then I'm going to start from this one just click and I'm going to create my path one two three four five six and the reason I'm counting these points is I'm going to try and create the same amount of points for all these paths okay so our first one is done one two three four five six points and then I'm going to click off the logo just to end that path and then click on the logo again to create a new path and then doing the same for this one one two three four five six points clicking off the logo clicking on the logo again doing the same for the last one one two three four five six all right so we've got our paths and uh, next we're going to add a stroke effect to this logo so i'm going to right click effect and then generate and then i'm going to click on stroke and then under the stroke effect I'm going to tick all masks and then I'm going to disable stroke sequentially because basically we want to animate all these paths at the same time and uh, then we want to change the paint style I'm going to change this to reveal original image and uh, then you want to also increase the brush size to 200 that's the maximum brush size that we can get and then we're basically going to animate the end position as you can see there that's the reveal that we're going to do but now you can see there's a problem here with these circles because this brush size can only go to 200 and um, for some reason that's a strange thing in After Effects you can't increase it more than 200 and um, that's not really enough um, on the sides of this path so as you can see if I move this path you can actually see that it's revealing um, only 200 pixels around that path so basically we need to recreate our masks in order to fix this problem so I'm going to select my logo and press M on the keyboard to um, show my masks and then I'm going to delete them all. So I'm going to click on the first one, hold and shift and then delete all of them. Alright, then I'm going to disable or hide my stroke effect and then with the logo selected I'm going to click on the pen tool again and then I'm going to do something like this. One, two, three, four, five and that will basically cover that whole circle and then I'm going to do one, two, three, four, okay and I'm going to deselect the logo again click on the logo let's do the same for this one so it's one two three four five and then one two three four five okay let's deselect the logo one more time one two three four five and then one two three four five Alright, so let's enable our stroke effect again and now we can test it and as you can see when we set our end to 100% you can see there's some slight issues there and I think that's the only issue I'm actually picking up and we can manually adjust this um, path just to sort of fix that so you can just drag these things around and you can see that's now revealing everything or everything around this area that's looking good that's looking good Alright, so now if we animate our end position, you'll see that the reveal is complete. Alright, so let's create our animation. So next to end, I'm going to set this value to zero and then I'm going to click on the stopwatch to create a keyframe. And then I'm going to go forward to around two seconds and then I'm going to set the end to 100%. So if we play through this, you will get that effect. Alright, I'm going to set this back to fit up to 100%, just zoom out. And uh, next what I want to do is I want to add the rotation. 
right so on our logo just press R so before we do the rotation you can see that the pivot point is not completely in the center of our logo so if I do a rotation you'll see that the rotation is not perfectly centered all right so first we need to center that pivot point so with the logo selected I'm going to click on this pan behind tool here at the top and I'm just going to drag this pivot point and set it somewhere in the center like that and now if we rotate it it's looking much better all right so on the first frame I'm going to set a keyframe next to rotation and then I'm going to go to two seconds again and then I'm going to set the rotation to 360 because I want to do one full circle so now if we play this back you will get that effect okay next we're going to select the two keyframes for rotation and then I'm going to right click on them and I'm going to go to keyframe assistant and then set them to easy ease or you can use the shortcut F9 on your keyboard and uh, then I'm going to go into the graph editor and I just want to change the way this graph actually looks because if I play this back now you'll see you get like a smooth animation but I wanted to start slowly and then increase and then slow down even more so on this first keyframe I'm just going to click on it and then I'm going to drag this handle out like that and then I'm going to drag the top handle in so we get something a curve that's going to go slow fast and then slow again so let's play through this okay so that is looking good all right so next I want to tint the color of the logo obviously you can skip this step if your logo has got specific colors and you can't really tint it but for this effect I'm just going to tint it so I'm going to right click go to effect go to color correction and then tint and then I'm going to set the white to a nice teal and uh, then we're going to set the black to the same color as well so it's nice and bright and uh, then I want to create a glow effect so I'm going to right click effect and then I'm going to go to stylize and then glow and um, under these settings I'm going to change the glow based on I'm going to set this to alpha channel and uh, then I'm going to set the composite to on top and um, a b colors that's fine and then I'm going to set the color a I'm going to set that the same as the tint and uh, then I'm going to increase the radius slightly like that okay that's looking good all right so if we play through this you'll see that effect is looking pretty cool and one more thing I want to add is motion blur so basically I'm just going to enable motion blur on this layer and then I'm going to enable motion blur for this comp and you can see we've got some nice motion blur let's do a quick RAM preview and that's how easy it is to create a cool looking logo reveal effect in After Effects. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Click on that thumbs up if you did. And also remember to click on that subscribe button if you want to be notified of new tutorials. I upload new tutorials on a weekly basis. So yeah, you'll get notified and it also helps me a lot. So thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Cheers, bye.